Hey guys, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Let's Talk DevOps. Now today in this video, we are going to talk about the deployment strategies. As you can see on my screen, I'm going to talk about the deployment strategies that is used in today's DevOps world. So let's dive right into the video. Okay, so the deployment strategies we are going to talk about first one is recreate. We're going to talk about that. Second, we're going to talk about the rolling update. What exactly is rolling update and how do we do it? Then we'll talk about the very famous one, the blue green deployment. And then we'll talk about the canary deployment. So these are the four deployment strategies that we are going to talk about. And I'll be explaining through a diagram. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the first one. The first one is recreate. All right. Okay, so what will happen? For example, consider there is an application. V1 is the version one. Again, a part of it, again, a part of it, and then again, a part of it. So let us consider these are the servers. Or if you're using Kubernetes, then it could be a pod. All right. So this is something that is right now running now there is another version known as v2 and again there would be some pods v2 over here v2 v2 all right so this is just an advanced version of the application now what will happen is the users are talking to this so now what we will do is we'll just kill all those servers and then users will start using this but in the meantime these servers are down all right and nobody is able to access it so in this meantime what let me choose this color in this meantime whenever we are trying to deploy this there would be some time taken and in that time the application becomes an unavailable so this is one of the biggest disadvantages in recreate because what is happening is there was already something running over here perfectly but due to the deployment, because as we are trying to destroy all of these nodes or all of these servers, what we are doing, we are just destroying them and spinning up new ones. So because of that, the application takes a hit in terms of downtime and your client don't want that. So this is, this is one of the practices, but right now a lot of people don't follow it. So this is how recreate works. All right. So let me just show you once again. So once the deployment is completed, this would be down and then this version would be up. So V2 is now the bigger version. So that's how it works, guys. All right. Okay. So the next version would be second one would be rolling updates. All right. Now what happens in rolling updates? Now let's, let us consider there would be V1, V1 v1 and v1 so these this can be parts this can be ec2 instance anything uh, in any virtual machines in in which your application is running now we already have a v2 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 over here all right now this is different from recreate what exactly is different so if there is something that is running over here and the traffic is coming towards here we won't just destroy it we won't just destroy it no this is not how we do it we'll just replace it one by one so what we'll do is we'll just destroy this v1 and then we'll take on this and this will be replaced by this then again we'll just take it off and then we'll just replace it by this and then again we'll kick it off like this and so on and so forth for the all the versions of the app all right so this is a very basic idea of how the rolling update goes so this is kind of helpful because whenever we test and uh, it's easy for us to roll back if, if there is any issue with that now uh, the users which are already here would be able to access the application because this would be now v2 so this v1 will become v2 this will become v2 this will become v2 and so on and so forth and this is how our update can go in the
production or any kind of environment all right so this is one of those strategies that are generally used uh, this is kind of kind of famous and even in my uh, organization and even in a lot of organization i have seen that rolling updates is very famous and one of the most like liked by a lot of developers a lot of uh, project managers a lot of devops all right so this is how you use rolling updates okay so now we are going to discuss one of the most important strategies which is blue green deployments okay so this is i'm just not writing it completely all right well, let's write it okay blue blue green deployments so i'll just take two colors one would be v1 v2 sorry it has to be v1 again it has to be v1 v1 and this is the version that is running right now all right so there would be some users who would be accessing accessing it let me put the traffic from here so this is the user users or you can say this is the traffic okay there should be a over here now there would be something known as green all right so this is version v2 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 and v2 this can be nodes first of all this can be nodes this can be servers this can be vms or anything else for that matter in which the different version of application is running now what happens is whenever you make an update okay all right you can consider this as a pod you can consider this as a as a vm or ec2 instance or a compute machine in terms of gcp so what will happen is when 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 the deployment will, will happen the traffic is always pointing towards the version 1 all right the user would be able to see but now what we will do will have this alongside this so both of them would, would be the, the infrastructure would be running both the application so you can say that both the applications are running something over over here all right now what we can do is uh, so if the 100% of traffic is running over here uh, let me pull that so if my 100% of traffic is running towards the v1 what we will do is in the meantime v2 will be tested along with the test cases now once the v2 will, will be tested and there is no issue we will just what we'll just do this traffic would be talking to let me increase the size of my cursor because it's very hard to understand so this traffic will now be going towards the v2 which is the upper version of the application and this would be removed so now the users are going to go towards the version 2 so this is the application that they are now talking to and that's how my deployment would be done so 100% of my traffic is now going towards the version 2 and previously it was going over here now it has been cut off and you can do through uh, through the help of some kind of dns or a lot of applications have different ways to do that let me show you a white paper on that so if you go to the website for the amazon they also explain that blue green deployment so they are saying that a blue green deployment is a deployment strategy in which you create two separate but identical environments so two separate this is one and this is two so these are two separate environments right now one environment blue is running the current application version of and one environment green is running the newer application version so if you'll see over here you can easily understand that and this is the older version by this is the older version my version v1 and version v2 is the newer version all right now using a blue green deployment strategy increases application availability and resume reduces deployment risk by simplifying the rollback rollback process if deployment fails now in case there would be a failure what we'll do is we just have to cut the traffic from here and then move the traffic again over here 100 percent so this way it's very easy to do that so now if you compare 
you can see that let me go over here you can see that it is saying the same thing so once testing has been com uh, completed on the green environment li live application status let me expand this live application status is directed to the green environment and the blue environment is not deprecated so what we will do is once the traffic goes over here we can just deprecate this environment so we will just remove all the pods or we'll just kill the servers or we'll just delete those servers so this is one of the very famous uh, famous deployment strategies which is known as blue green deployment let me show you a white paper over here so if you click over here so we'll be having this white paper and if you go to the blue green uh, deployment methodology on the page number six you will be able to see that all right so what these guys are doing over here let me just expand it so they have a Amazon Route 53. So Amazon Route 53, what it will do is uh, it will check whether there is an app version V and app version V2. So this is talking to the database right now. But once this application version 2 is tested and everything goes all right, the app now the routing will will cut the traffic from application 1 to application 2. And this application 2 would be talking to the database and it would be live to all the users over the world. So this is how our deployment strategy work in terms of blue green deployment. It is very important because it's it is it has been asked a lot in it a lot in, in in the interview so just keep just make sure that you know this strategy and they fit and if they ask you to draw some kind of uh, diagram to understand you can give an example of this whatever i have done or you can give an example of this for uh, for the use case for amazon.53 how will we do it all right okay now the last one is canary deployment All right, so we'll talk, talk about that. Now in the canary deployment, let's say there are two versions. So version one, version one, version one, version one. All right, now what is happening? The user is getting 100% of the traffic towards the version one, all right? Now what will happen is I have to do the deployment. So what I'll do is I'll have a newer version in which I'll do the V2. All right. So this version is upper one. What will I do in the next step? I'll direct 80% of my traffic to the this one. All right. So this was the first step, right? And this is the second step that I'm going to do. So in this, what I'll do is I'll direct my 80% of traffic to the version one and towards the version two, I'll direct 20% of my traffic. Now, this percentage is not accurate in terms of like, you have to do 20% of them. You can do 5% of that. You can do 10%. It totally depends on your choice. It totally depends on your company, how your company follows it. So once this is done, so after that, what will happen? They'll do some kind of test they'll run uh, they'll run some application to uh, make a call to this they'll check some database connections and there could be multiple uh, there could be multiple things so uh, yeah, yeah they can check database connection and there could be multiple things that they'll do so once all of these activities will be done these will be changed to from v1 to v2 one by one And now whole of my traffic will be moving towards this, the, the updated version and this canary will be deleted. Now this, uh, this V2 is again, I'm saying this could be an app service. This could be a VM. This could be an EC2 instance, or this could be a compute engine, or this could be anything. All right. Or a, this could be a pod. So this is how canary deployment is done. Again, I'll be repeating it. There is a canary that is introduced over here and then a percentage of my traffic will be directed towards this and after that a few tests will be running uh, a few application will be making call to this to test and then uh, there could be a db connection that is happening and then everything when everything of that is done this v1 will become v2 uh, one by one and then all of my traffic which is 100 percent will be directed towards this and the users would be able to access the updated application all right 
so these are all the uh, deployment strategies that we have used today uh, first we talked about uh, recreate we talked about rolling updates and then we talked about blue grain which is one of the famous ones and i've shown you the white paper from aws as well and then we have used the canary deployment all right okay so i have just removed my uh, picture from there because uh, i think uh, you wouldn't be you you weren't able to understand this part uh, on on my right which i have drawn i think uh, this part you weren't able to see so i've removed that and uh, this is uh, uh, this is finished from my end so uh, i hope you guys guys have understood this uh, and if there is anything that you need explanation on feel free to comment below in the comment section and we would address that also uh, if there is anything you feel uh, that i have missed in this video uh, feel free to comment below and we will address that as well and if there is any if there is any confusion please uh, write down your questions and we will we'll try uh, we'll try to get back to you all right so uh thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video